It's another video from Aussie's Robot. But you got a banana collection. It's another video where I don't have a drink in my hand. So hold on, I'm getting a drink. Hold on. All right, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back, my friends, to the toys that never run from your favorite toy guy, me. The Oz. Drinking my Snapple Peach now. I didn't have anything before. And... Uh, Welcome, welcome. If it's morning where you're at, I always say get comfortable, grab your favorite beverage, and maybe it's coffee. The caffeinated beverage that will wake you up. You can add a little sugar for your glucose fix and get a snack. I always encourage you to get a Slim Jim or a breakfast burrito. No, I'm just kidding. You can, you know, if, if you want to have a healthy breakfast, have some egg white feta and tomato omelet, okay? So this way I please, and I guess if you're if you're vegan, you can have avocado toast, all right? So now we cover all these. <laughs> and with that out of the way, sit back in your easy, comfortable, lazy boy, barco lounger, chair, stool, whatever it is, and wherever you're at. And let's look at the sparky robot that took me 37 years to collect, yes, 37 years. Now, was I looking for this for 37 years? Eh, probably not. But honest to God, I'd be lying if I didn't say on and off for over 20. I mean, I've probably had dozens of opportunity to get this, but for one reason or another, it was never like so much of a priority that I focused on this particular Sparky over everything else. And then over the years, it really became the most valuable, sought-after Sparky robot. So let me tell you, this is considered the Blue Piston Sparky. I suppose now there is a brown version that might be actually more valuable than this. Uh, brown being subjective, uh, but it is definitely a different shade than the rest. So... Um, and that notwithstanding, though, let's call this either the most valuable or the second most valuable Sparky and certainly very tough to get. Now, I wanted a perfect example, and I also wanted it with the correct early detective box. So let's get into the box. There's several versions, and at the last Amandaraki auction, I bought a couple of Sparkies, and... This, I believe, is version one, so the earliest. Now, the Sparky robots have been reproduced uh, from China, like by the hundreds of thousands, probably. So you have to make sure you get, if you're hunting for one and you're new to the hobby, make sure you get an authentic one. Now, you can see this is by KO Japan, and they call it the detective box for obvious reason, because there's this dude that looks like a detective holding that cool a firearm there look at that and uh what he's going to do to this robot with the cylindrical head now i think there's also different versions of the robot a little bit nuanced versions of this robot but he is a cool cat man look at that he's got that like lithode panel on the chest it's a very beautiful box I think the most sought after of the box for the Sparky robot. And this one is square as a proverbial brick. It is perfect, perfect, perfect. As perfect as a nearly 70-year-old box can be. And look at that. Pull the antenna to make him walk. It sparks. Watch him walking. Push the an uh, antenna down to stop him from walking. And then you got this cool illustration <laughs> that's about my drawing skills and even not that straight the lines would be crooked but hey i try right and we live in the age where everyone gets a trophy and as long as you try that's what counts he even has his original insert if you could believe it believe it or not so here's the inside Anywho, anywho, who. So that is your box. But the robot itself, and for, first of all, I could tell you it's definitely more teal in my hand 
than you're seeing on camera. On camera, it looks like more navy blue, and this totally is a more like tealish blue. I can't believe uh, how the camera doesn't pick up the actual blue shade. But now, if you were to have a reproduction side by side, the pistons uh, actually look a little bit different. You know, the lithography on the reproductions is not the same. I I'm going to have to do a side-by-side uh, -side video. I know people love those when you compare the originals to the reproductions, uh, but I just have to find where I have some reproduction sparkies because I'm pretty sure I have them somewhere. Do I have the blue? You know what? Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can grab one real quick. So there'll be like 20 seconds of silence. Enjoy the toy while you're here. Lo and behold, I actually did have the reproduction. Ta-da! Ta-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da! So we're going to do two things. I'll show you this later. But in the meantime, let's, uh, let's continue looking at the original. And I believe in the leg here... This is where you find the, whoop, 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 whoop. right there. There's your leg. Now that's your verification that this is the real deal. The real deal, the real McCoy. Right. Camera. Camera's always flipping over here. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit here. And you know what? Let's wind him up and see if he's doing anything. I don't see any sparks, but you know what? I couldn't imagine that the flint would still operate after, you know, 65 to 70 years. Let me try one more time. Looks like he's got a lot more to go, but. All right, and that's it walking. Now here's your Chinese reproduction. So first of all, let's look at, like I was telling you, the pistons. Okay, you could see how this one has the blue shading over there at the bottom of those pistons. This has nothing, it's all white. I mean, you know, there's a lot of differences. The M is actually different. This is wider. The M fills up the entire yellow. This is a little more subtle. The size is close. Um, let's go to the... Does this even go down? Barely. I can barely move this one. Now here's where the, the the Japanese just were so superior. Look at the lithography. Look at how they kind of added a, I don't know if you want to call it a light bloom there. And over here is just plain. They didn't bother with the uh, sophisticated details. Everything's very basic. The dial here, this isn't too bad, but you know, the the, the segments are a little smaller just a little more elegant. You have better work on this red shading here. This is a little more basic. The lines here are nice and straight over here. They're kind of curved. You got some white to give you some kind of light and shade here. Over here, it's all black. So there's a lot of difference. You know, look, it's, it's, you know, original versus a reproduction. It's thousands of dollars versus, you know, 
20 bucks, 30 bucks. The bottom, you can see the Chinese one. Now, if, um, if you're looking and you go to an antique shop and you happen to see that underneath your toy, this the scratch this off, <laughs> that's a red flag too, because that's the Chinese uh, logo there, made in China. So, you know, that's what a lot of unscrupulous uh, dealers would do, scratch that off. And so I could go on and on, but you know, I'm just trying to give you the basics. It actually looks a little bigger too. I don't know if it's uh, optical illusion, and, and obviously the box would be different. But you know, while we're here, let's wind up this guy. No sparks from him either, and he's brand new. I've never even wound him up before. Did they even make it with a spark or flint? The other thing that I'm noticing is this mouth is completely um, flat, right? And over here, it's actually protruding. So it has like an embossed or actually a raised effect on the mouth here. Show you like that. See how it's raised over there? It's just flat. You know, that's what makes this elegant and uh, desirable. So, anyway, I went longer, but you know what? I kind of found this and I figured, why not? Oops. And then the uh, feet here, this is definitely more red. This is a little more orangey. And so now you know some of the telltale signs of the reproduction versus the original. And I wish you could see the blue in real life, though, because this blue is spectacular. Spectacular, man. Like I said, it's way more teal than it looks in the video. And with that, it went way longer than I thought. But you know what? Thanks uh, for watching this long. And by the way, the key is also different. The key shape. This key on this guy is way, way bigger. <laughs> way bigger key. And... Uh, if you like it, do me a favor, thumb it up. If you have any questions, let me know. With that, as always, I appreciate your time. And I, my friends, will talk to you later.